Okie dokie, and it is day two of decluttering. I probably didn't need to make it like day two, it's just that I ran out of sunlight and camera battery. <laughs> so in our last installment we did primer, foundation, concealer, powder, all of the kind of like base base products. And now we're moving on to color complexion products, so blush, bronzer and highlighter. So let's get right into it because we have quite a bit of ground to cover and I feel like unlike the last one, I think we are actually going to have to do some decent decluttering because I have even noticed prior to <laughs> this video that there are a few things that are, you know, just a little too similar to really both be needed. <laughs> and I have also had a few products that I've noticed that I haven't been using. So let's just jump right into it. Okay, so we're starting out with bronzing and contour products. And it's not a huge category. This one here is a face palette and I wasn't quite sure what kind of section of this video to pop it in, but because I think, you know, of the colors in there, probably three of them would go under bronzing category for me. I figured this would be the right section. This is kind of like a highlighty translucent sort of shade. And I guess while I'm talking about it, I should say that I am going to keep it because I really love this bronzing shade. This is, I think it's meant to be kind of like a um, illuminating powder, but on me, it's actually a contour. Um, and it's actually a really nice contour shade on me. It's like really, you can't really see it like on my hand if I swatch it for you, but like on the skin, it creates this really, really subtle shadow and definition, like really super subtle, but it's really, really pretty. So that's the shade Dim Light, I believe. Um, yeah, this one's sort of a translucent finishing powder. This one is more of like an illuminating kind of bronzer, which is quite nice and glowy, a little bit sparkly, um, really pretty on top of the cheeks if I just want to do kind of like a, a nude blush, I guess. And then a pinky purpley blush, a corally peachy blush, and then like another bronzer. <laughs> um, that's a bit more like pigmented. So anyway, I love this palette. I've had it for, ooh, oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> um, I love this palette. It's a little bit gross and dirty, but uh, I've had it for, ooh, maybe two years now. Year and two years. I want to say it's been two years. Um, and I really love it. And uh, I've used it quite sparingly, but I want to start just like actually using products I like instead of hoarding them like smog in Lord of the Rings. That's two Lord of the Rings references in this series now. A series that I haven't actually read the books, but uh, I've grown to love the movies because a lot of my loved ones love Lord of the Rings. Anyway, random hand, but uh, this guy is going to stay. Another one that if you saw my last series, this was there and it's still here. He's still kicking around. This is such a great contour color. Um, I don't know, it, it's just in between that kind of gray, red and orange. It's in the middle of those crossroads. It just does a really nice job. That is a really poor uh, swatch section. I will just brush that away now. Um, but it's just a really, really nice color. Let me get some more of it and I'll show you. There we go. It kind of looks orangey on camera and on the underside of my arm because the underside of my arm is very, very pale. Um, but it is sort of like, a little gray, a little brown, a little bit orange. It has a, a bit of warmth to it. It's sort of neutral in a way. I guess it looks kind of warm here, but I swear to God on my face, it's quite neutral and it just kind of creates a really nice contour. And the uh, brightening shade is nice as well. It's uh, it's not really brightening on me, but it works as kind of like a slightly pigmented um, face powder, which is kind of nice on the eyes. Again, we haven't been traveling, but this is one I travel with because it has a giant mirror, hello. Um, which is also really dirty. I will clean some of this stuff before I put it back. It's just, yeah, it's a really great product and I don't want to declutter it because I like it and it's good. So there you go. I have hit pan on that. I hope to like kind of hit pan and finish it up this year, um, which I think I will be able to do because, segue, <laughs> uh, this bronzer from the body shop is what I have been using primarily for bronzer, but it's broken and it's quite old. I think it's a couple of years old and I just hate that it's broken. It really bothers me. Um, and it like gets like pigment and, uh, I don't want to say crumbs, like dust, um, all through the drawer. So the drawer is all like dusty and, um, from bronzer dust. It is a really great bronzer. I'll show you like kind of what it's like. It's a really lightly pigmented bronzer can barely see it really at all. <laughs> there you go. You can kind of see a little bit better now. Um, 
it's just a really light bronzer, which is kind of what I like for my skin. There's not too many bronzers. I did try the Too Faced Milk Chocolate, but even that I thought was just really pigmented. And I kind of thought it was a little bit difficult to work with because like it was so pigmented that I was like scared of using it. Um, but yeah, that's a really, really nice bronzer, but the broken packaging is not fixable and it's bothering me so much. And I have the bronzers in the hourglass palette and I have the Marc Jacobs like bronzer slash contour and I would just rather use them up than like get frustrated with this broken bronzer. So that one is going to go, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, but I, I feel bad for the bronzer because it's a good product, but like not enough that I want to keep it. I'd actually, at this point, if I really miss it, I can actually just go buy another one if it's really that tragic. I'm just gonna take a sip of my cup of tea. Please don't forget to have a nice beverage while you watch my videos because I know they can be a little bit lengthy, but hopefully in like a nice meditative kind of way. <laughs> okay, then we have this from Fenty Beauty. This is the Amber Matchstick. I'm really enjoying using this. Uh, I would say they're actually not the easiest to work with because they are that like matte formula. So you do have to get in there and blend pretty quickly, or you have to have a foundation that's quite creamy and has a bit of slip to allow you to blend it quickly. Cause there have been times where I have, you know, put this striped it onto both of my cheeks and my jaw. And then I've gone to blend in that first cheek and it's like difficult by the time you get to the fourth part. It, yeah, it can blend a little funny. Um, but the tone is really nice. If you are more on the fair end, I would recommend it because it's kind of got that nice cool tone to it. Um, but when I blend it out, it still has a bit of like warmth and orangeness to it. I don't know. I've, I've noticed that when blending it um, out on my like jawline, it still has a bit of like warmth in it. And I think I really do prefer those like quite cool gray toned uh, shades. And this is that, but there's yeah, you just have to be careful with the amount you pop on of this because I can feel it looks a little tiny, tiny little bit muddy on me at times. But uh, I do really like it and it's quite nice to have a cream product because then I can blend my foundation back in with it. I, I have a little, well, once you have blended it sufficiently, you can kind of play with it. Whereas I feel like with like more pigmented powder contour products, if you don't blend them enough, we have too much, it's kind of hard to blend them out. I don't know, it, 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 cream products are versatile and I really liked creams this year and you'll see that in the blush section because sweet baby Jesus, I have a lot of blushes and I'm kind of avoiding that section. Um, but yeah, I am going to be holding on to this. Um, Stan Rihanna, love her. And I, I have heard someone message me and told me that the cream, um, like in the little cream bronzers there in the compact, that it's a little bit more dewy and has a little bit more playtime, um, but I have just so much of this and I'm quite happy with it, honestly, like it's a good product. So I'm going to keep using this. It stays really well uh, and it doesn't fade away. So it has really good lasting power, which you don't always get with powder products. So yeah, that one's going to stay. And then this one is also going to stay. This is the Too Cool For School Art Class by Rodan Contour. Too Cool For School, like the few products I have tried from them have all been really excellent. I'll show you this one. Uh, we'll go here. <laughs> I'll show you over here. That's a mix of all three shades. It's just kind of like a bronzer. I actually would say this is more of a bronzer than a contour on me because it just has that. What one was that? <laughs> My memory's so bad. I'm literally just like, I don't even know what that is. That was the. No, what was it? Hmm. I can't remember. I'm sure I'll remember when I go back and look at the footage, but, but yeah, it's watching that there. It actually looks more kind of like bronzy on me than I kind of thought it was. It has a little bit more of that warmth to it compared to some of the other ones here. It has a little bit more of that like orangey kind of undertone. I know they have released a new version of this, which is the even more cool toned gray color, which I actually do really want to check out because this is a really beautiful product. Um, it blends really beautifully. It has really nice pigment. It's affordable. Like I do really like it and I like the three different shades. So there are times where I'm going to go more for this side and more for this side, even just using this shade a little bit like on my eye, just to get a little bit of definition, just like really slightly is really pretty. I will say they do wear down at different rates though. Like the powders are different consistencies and slightly different formulas, which is actually very cool that they're like all a little bit different, I guess, to, you know, work with each 
kind of pigment um, but you can see this one's worn down way more than this one and I couldn't tell you why because <laughs> I don't go into that one specifically more than the other ones I think this just might be like a softer powder you'll see kind of in this video that I don't really buy a lot of makeup in categories that aren't my favorites like bronzers and contour I think once I find something that works I'm pretty happy to stick with it um, and you'll see with things like foundations, which, you know, obviously I kind of go through more often, foundations and lip colors and like eyeshadows, things like that, you will just see a lot more new stuff. So this is probably all old hat to you guys who were here last year, but I think it's still good to revisit. Um, yeah, that's an amazing product. I'm really keen to try out the gray cool toned one. I can't promise I won't purchase that one, but I do want to work on this one a little bit more. And I think because now I'm seeing that it's like a little bit more um, warm toned on me than I kind of initially considered I'll probably use this in lieu as a bronzer for this one because that was my like one thing about getting rid of this even though it was broken is that I was like but I love the Body Shop Honey bronzer because it like gives me that like really gentle warmth that I think I think the Art Class by Rodan can also give me that gentle warmth so I think I can move on in peace <laughs> so this one is going and you can even see like some of this is like come from that so this one is going to go and these guys are going to stay yay so look there's a few here isn't there i'm gonna try and i'm gonna try and like sort them into kind of like color categories um so we can kind of adequately compare them between themselves <laughs> so i'm gonna start off with this one from can make and i'm gonna try and swatch some of these for you just at least a little bit this is like a, a lilac blusher also a hot tip um if you want to really test how blush looks on your face swatch it on your um, palm because there's kind of some pigment coming through there um, there's a little bit of redness from your hand and stuff like that so it's just more accurate to how it's gonna look on your cheek than it is gonna look on your you know the, the back of your arm because there's not that much pigment coming through there right but there's like a little bit more of a, a mottled <laughs> color palette which is just more accurate to your face that's that there it's like a lilac lavender color it's really pretty and i don't reach for it as much at the moment just because i'm using a lot of creams i'm just really feeling cream blush at the moment but this is a really pretty lilac color and i don't have anything else like it in my collection and mixing this with like a baby pink blush gives me a really pretty effect it like doesn't actually look as weird on the face as you might think it would um so i am going to hold on to that because that one is unique to my collection then i'm going to go with this section because it's quite easy because in complete honesty i think i'm going to keep all of these um they're all really beautiful blushes to me i'm just giving me some space i love all of these blushes in complete honesty uh so i'll go through them this one is from cute press which is a thai makeup brand or i picked it up in thailand 90 percent sure it's a thai makeup brand um and you can kind of see in there it looks like pink and gold and it, you kind of think it's going to be more of a coral pink which I do have like a corally peachy pink section which is extensive um, but when you swatch it like that you can kind of see it there it's really glowy it has like this really beautiful like metallic-y sheen it's not as like peachy pink as it more kind of like a candy slightly warm toned pink and the glow it has is really pretty i don't really have anything else like it in my collection but yeah you can you can see it here it's it's very much like i want to say it's like a neutral true pink uh that's super glowy it's really really pretty on the cheek the lasting power isn't amazing um but layering this on top of a, another pink blush that's a cream that has that lasting power is a really pretty effect so i yeah i really really like this it's so gorgeous um it was really inexpensive too it's like a drugstore um really affordable brand so i just think it's super pretty so i love that I don't know what this is the cute press glow fitty terrazzo blush in the shade 01 flush and then this one is really sad and it looks a little bit gross because it just does because it also broke this one i dropped it and i thought about buying a new one and i might buy a new one because i just really like this blush and i'm just so sad about the packaging um this is a mirror but i just never took the sticker off but uh this is from lime crime and this is their software blush 
in the shade of Pexel, which it's, yeah, it, it looks a little dry and like weird, but it's a matte baby pink cream. And it, I'll get a bit more. And it just looks so gorgeous on the cheeks. It's such a pretty color. I never really, I don't know why, like I always just gravitated towards like these peachy coral blushes. Um, probably because I was like a redhead for a really long time and I was just like, oh, I'm a redhead so I should wear peaches and corals because it looks good to me. But when I have pink hair, like I do now, I love a baby pink blush. It's a really like buildable formula. It's like not too intense. Um, and it is definitely more of that like baby, baby pink, which on the cheeks looks very pretty. <sighs> I'm in half a mind to like get rid of it just because of the packaging, because it's a cream. When this packaging gets out, it like stabs into there. It, it's just really very broken. And again, I can't fix it. So that is quite sad. I'm thinking about buying another one, but there's nothing like wrong with the one I have. And I feel like that's a little bit wasteful, kind of like the Body Shop one, um, except that I would miss this if it was gone and I would buy another one. Uh, but yeah, so I really, really like this color and I've been using it quite a lot, actually. I'm gonna keep that too, although this is the Glossier Cloud Paint and it's in the shade Puff. I'm just gonna take a little bit and just a tiny bit. It's kind of more of a like, yeah, it's more of like a warm toned pink than like a cool toned baby pink. It's got more of like a peachy undertone to it, which is funny because they say it's like a cool toned pink, but on me it's like peachy a little bit. If Puff was more of that cool toned baby pink, I probably would have gotten rid of the Lime Crime one because I just don't need two in the same color. Um, and you know, the formula is similar enough and the finish is really nice. These wear so well. I love the formula a lot. It's also my 2020 favorites. It's such a great blush. However, it, it's not a replacement <laughs> for Pixel. So I'm gonna keep them both because they both spark joy and I really like it. So Puff is also gonna stay. And then the last one is this from Bobbi Brown. And I love the Bobbi Brown. Oh, <laughs> that's looking old. Let me, oh, and I just tuck my nose in it. So that's really cool for me. Um, I was just trying to give it a smell to see if the formula had any particular scent, but it doesn't, it smells fine. I can probably give it a clean and like just get some of the random, like what appears to be hair, which is just mwah, so fancy and amazing to show you on my channel. Um, give it a bit of a clean up, but I love this color. It again is different to the other ones. <laughs> Nearly got a hair in there, that's really cool. Um, yeah, it's a lot more pigmented. It's a lot more of like a mauve pink. And it's also really pretty and has amazing wear time. So you can see the four are pretty different. Actually, these are kind of similar slightly, I would say. The Bobbi Brown and Puff are similar, but again, I like both of them. And to me, they're different. This one's a bit more dewy. This one's a bit more matte. This one is more pigmented, a little bit more of a mauve tone to it. They're all, they're all different. I need to justify it to you. You guys understand they're different. So all of my kind of like pink, baby pink, cool tone pink, neutral pink, you know what I mean? They're, they're pink blushes. They're all gonna stay. Uh, I should probably just conquer this section, hey? It's not fun. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wipe those pink blushes off. But then we have our coral pinks and they are the, probably the section where I'm gonna try and make an effort to cull them because I just feel like I have quite a few colors that are similar and we like just don't need them all. Um, but who knows because blush bibbies make me weak at the cheeks. So I, I yeah, I really love blush. <laughs> I really fall in love with blush and I just think blush for me makes such a difference. And I love the way that blush looks when I do my makeup. So don't know how we're gonna go with that. I'm completely honesty. And um, I'm gonna pick one that I just love straight off the bat. This is from Bobbi Brown. This is the Ulla Johnson palette. So this is a limited edition palette, but Again, the pink flush, I believe it's available in a full size. And <laughs> this looks so gross, I'm so sorry. Um, this is like a little palette that comes with a highlighter and the blush and like a mini face oil, which I should probably just like remove that because he's not really doing a lot hanging out in there. I don't think you can get this <laughs> on its own. I just had a look. I think you can get it in like a duo with the highlighter, like a bigger size. But I don't think you can get this particular color alone. And I will show you the color because it is stunning. 
I would say this is more of like a true peachy color compared to these kind of like coral pinks. It's more of like a baby peach pink baby hybrid. <laughs> Um, I absolutely love this color and the, the highlighter is nice too. I just don't really use it that much because it's quite sheer. It's more of a like glowy highlighter and you have to kind of like tap it on the tops of your cheeks. Um, but they're both really pretty and I don't want to get rid of it because I really like it. So I'm going to keep it. <laughs> um, then these ones, this is where we come into territory of like, these are kind of similar and I probably couldn't tell them apart. So I'm just going to swatch them really quickly. So I've just gone ahead and swatched all these guys. So this is the Bobbi Brown one. This is the Colourpop Blush Sticks in the shade 25 over 8. This is the NARS Blush in Deep Throat. This is the Cute Press, uh, I don't know what this is called, the Ombre Blush in the shade Peach Passion. So it's like from a adjacent line to that pink one I showed you before. This one is the Clinique blush pop in the shade ginger pop and this is the Thai brand for you too I think it's called um, and it's one of their you heart me shimmer blushes okay I think you can see what I mean when I said that this category I think I'd be able to cull a bit because I think some of these are just quite similar <laughs> and we don't need to have all of them and I've already talked about it but I think the Bobbi Brown one can definitely stay it's just distinctly different to me from these other ones it's more of like a pastel um coral kind of color I know I said it was like a baby pink peach but looking at them it's definitely in the same family um but it's definitely got more of like a pastely fresh different pigment than like these ones which are all I would say arguably similar <laughs> so this one I think can stay so I'm gonna move that over there I actually thought the Colourpop blush stick wouldn't make it through because I kind of was like oh it looks like everything else but on my arm it looks like a little bit different it has a little bit more of a brownie kind of tone to it whereas these two and these two look like pretty much the same to me at least so I actually yeah I was actually gonna declutter this but now I'm kind of like having second thoughts because it just looks different but I think what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pop it with the nude blushes and I'm going to swatch it again compared to those because now on my arm it looks kind of similar to the M Cosmetics Venetian Rose. I still think it's different but it looks similar enough to me. It just, I don't know, I feel like I have this color. If I don't then I'll probably keep it because it is a nice product and the formula is pretty um, but I just, I don't know, I wasn't in love with it so I may end up decluttering it anyway but like that one does look different to these ones. It's actually these two that look kind of similar. This is a more pastel -y version of that. Um, I'm going to put this to the side for the moment and I'm going to look at it with the nude cream blushes because I think that'll be a good comparison. Then we have these two here. This is NARS Deep Throat <laughs> and this is the Cute Press Ombre Blush. I would actually say, so the, the Cute Press one is very similar in color but with more of a strong gold shift. Like, I think you can see, it's just a little more, it's just a little more shiny, got a little more bling to it than the NARS one, but like not overly so. The NARS one, the gold in it is more of like a pale refined gold and this is more of a like strong yellowy gold to me anyway, but the base color is pretty similar. Um, they both blend pretty nicely. I just don't need both of them. I think, I think knowing my skin tone, knowing what I like, I don't love like strong yellow golds on me. Although it's like, even when I blend it out, those look so similar. Well, if you wanted a dupe for NARS Deep Throat, then you have one because I think it's this blush. This is, if you like the orgasm blush, this is a bit more of a like, I don't know, someone like described it as like the big sister to orgasm. Like it's a little bit less like glittery and it's more of like a subtle, um, gold sheen. I just love this blush um, and they're pretty much the same but I just, I don't know, I bought this one um, and it has some like nice memories attached to it and I have this in like the different formula in the pink and I kind of like the glowy pink more than I like this one. I just don't think I need both of them, they look quite similar and I've barely used this one so I think this would make, you know, I can pass this along because um, I've only used it like a handful of times and it's just really really pretty. But yeah, I don't need both, so I'm going to pass this one along. These colors are quite similar. This is the Clean Ginger Pop, and this is the For You 2 You Heart Me blush. 
but this formula <laughs> I've tried it a few times I bought quite a few bits and pieces when I was in Thailand of makeup to share with you guys so even if I do declutter some of these makeup items that I picked up in Thailand I probably will keep them aside to film a video about them and my like kind of review slash thoughts um, but this brand in particular for you too it's a really affordable brand it's in um, their Even Boys which is kind of like a Sephora Ulta kind of shop it's really really affordable but this formula is like hot garbage you can kind of see like this is me swatching I did like five passes with swatching it and it was so difficult to blend out like it just doesn't really blend out like once you swatch it it kind of stays in that shape um, and there's like a shimmery kind of thing and that blends out but the pigment doesn't so so the formula of their shimmer blush or at least in this particular formula hot garbage I would recommend it um, so for that reason I'm gonna keep the Clinique blush because this formula is stunning I have thought about picking up some other colors in this blush um, I know they have like a baby pink and they have a lilac and they have a really pretty like nudie brown color as well um, but I don't need to pick up any more blushes although I kind of want to <laughs> um, but if you are looking at kind of nice really wearable pretty long wearing blushes the Clinique ones are really excellent so I love this blush formula and if I am reaching for like kind of a corally bright blush it's going to be that one over that one because I hate this formula I hate it <laughs> so I'm going to keep the Clinique one and this one is going to get decluttered so I feel bad for Thai makeup maybe I wasn't looking at the right blogs when I was researching what to buy um, this cute pressed blush is amazing I just don't need two of the same color um, but this for you to shimmer blush is really really not great it's really not good alrighty nude blushes including the one that I already swatched for you guys but let's take another look so I'll just move that back there so these are my kind of like nudie um, nude <laughs> they're my nude blushes so I'll show you this one it's sort of uh, yeah it's a nude this is from hourglass this is the mood exposure ambient lighting blush it just is the blush that I wear when I don't know which blush to wear it's just a kind of neutral nudie color cool great description Lucy but uh, yeah that's essentially what it is all of the hourglass powders have a really really pretty kind of um, glow to them just the formula is really gorgeous so that one there is beautiful and I am NOT parting with it because it's excellent and then I have the 3 CE blush which I'm probably also not gonna part with this is the mono pink blusher I love this in winter for some reason I don't know it just looks really pretty that isn't swatching amazing <laughs> like I have had to do a few passes for that uh, you can see they're a little bit different this is more of a kind of lively lighter kind of baby pink baby nude kind of vibe this is more of a like mature brownie neutral nude I would say um, yeah they're different and they're both pretty this one's a matte this one's a kind of glowy uh, satin sort of blush they're different but I love them both they're both same um, <laughs> clear those guys away they're getting in the way so first up I've swatched the two powder blushes this one on the top here is the hourglass in the shade mood exposure and this is the 3CE blusher in the shade mono pink as you can see they are different um, this one is more of a satin neutral nude even like slightly grayish toned bronzer um, not bronzer blush and this one is a little bit more lively it's a bit more of like a peachy pink um, but still quite a like neutral nudie color I would describe it as anyway compared to the like kind of corally colors it's just a bit more muted um, yeah it's 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 you know yeah they're, they're both nudes and they're both different and they're both staying so they can go over there these ones here are the ones where I don't know if I need both of these so this one is from a pew this is the juicy pang or pung blusher I'm just gonna swatch that there it's kind of like an apricot-y, dried, rosy, warm beige. And this one is the M Cosmetics. These ones, that's a lot of pigment, but I'll just swatch it down. I feel like they're kind of different, don't you? They're also kind of different. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. I don't know. When you're decluttering things, you kind of want things to be similar <laughs> or make kind of products redundant like maybe I haven't realized that they're different you know like maybe I've had these both in my stash and they're actually like really similar but as I kind of like blend them out they do look quite different 
Okay, no, that one. That the the M Cosmetics blush is like totally different. I would say it's like a plum terracotta rosy dried nude, and this one is more of that like peachy beige color. I have also had this for like two years, and for a liquid product, I kind of am like side eyeing how long I've had it for. But the formula is really pretty. But I don't really reach for nude blushes too too often. Mm. All right, let's grab the ColourPop blush stick out and see if it like looks like any of them. Okay, all right, that actually has helped. This one looks a lot like that one. Okay, kind of, not really. This one is more muted for sure. This one's brighter, but I don't think... Okay, I blended them out a little bit more. I, well, this is really hard. Okay, I think, I think we can definitely keep the M Cosmetics one because I think it looks distinctly different to anything else. It just has like... It just hits different. The undertone is more like rosy and I don't think I really have anything like that. The closest one like that is like the hourglass one, but again, they're still like sufficiently different. So I think I'm gonna keep the M1 plus the formula is like really pretty and you're gonna need like the tiniest little bit and it looks amazing. And the beige one, the, uh, the Apu Juicy Blusher I've noticed actually has like a kind of micro glitter in it and i have noticed it when i've worn it but it's like a weird like yellow almost kind of like green in the light like it's a it's a very greeny yellow micro glitter which i'm not like loving there's this like one piece of like a green micro glitter and there's like other micro glitters like it but there's like a specifically like a green looking piece that's really weirding me out in the uh the apu blush you probably can't see it on camera but I don't know. The micro glitters like aren't my fave. I just don't think it's like a particularly sophisticated formula. They are really affordable um, and I would definitely pick up some of the other colors and I actually probably should look at some of the other colors because um, I do love cream and liquid blushes. I haven't really been reaching for this one since I got the M Cosmetics one and when I do wear nude blushes, which actually isn't that often, um, when I do wear nude blushes, I tend to go for the 3CE one or the Hourglass one is really easy to reach for because I just know it always looks nice. Uh, so I don't think I actually need that. I'm going to put that aside. I actually don't think I need the ColourPop one either because look at this, the tail end of this actually looks quite a lot like the 3CE one, which is really weird. Like they just look similar to me. I don't know. I just don't think I need this. I kind of, I feel like I had this like urge to declutter it and I think I'm going to follow that urge. I just don't think it's something that I really go for all the time. I did wear it the other day, like I was trying to try it out again and I liked it, but like, I just like other blushes more. And that's kind of the point. <laughs> I feel like I barely even used it. That's so embarrassing. Ugh. Anyway, <laughs> that's okay. You know, you try things and things like look different online. Actually, ColourPop's website is, I feel like sometimes really hard to buy for because like, I've had a few products from ColourPop where I bought it and the actual color that it is on me is like really different from the swatch. Has anyone else had that experience? I don't know, like the quality of their products is really great, but I've definitely had more than two occasions where I've purchased a product from ColourPop and I've received it and I'm like, this looks really different. Anyway, no biggie, but I'm gonna declutter that one. And then I feel like more satisfied about that declutter because again, I really love blush. I was kind of worried about that being a bit of a flop of a declutter, but that's, I mean, hey, I've got like what? 11 blushes and I decluttered four, <laughs> which like four out of 15, did I? No. Yeah, I had 15 blushes. I don't know why I did that uh, counting again. Not a big math gal. So maybe I thought it was wrong, but no, I got the numbers right the first time. Uh, but you know, I feel like I have a nice mix between like, you know, I've got some creams and I've got some powders and I've got some nudes and I've got some corals and I have some glowy and I have some matte and I have some satin and in between. I just really like blush and I can't promise you that I won't buy more blush because I feel like there are just so many nice blush releases out at the moment. I hope I can get a replacement for this or I can find another like baby pink cool tone blush that I like equally as much. And you know, when you like stack them all together, it's like not as like aggressively plentiful. <laughs> I am justifying myself like a maniac. But anyway, decluttering these blushes and these ones are gonna go back in the drawer. Alrighty, and just before we jump into your highlighters, I found this guy <laughs> at the back of my drawer, which probably speaks to its neglect. 
This is from Pixie and it's their Pixie Glow Cake in the shade Gilded Bear Glow. Very reminiscent of the Kevin Aquan kind of near bronzes. I really like this, I just didn't have space for it in my like little blush section, um, but now I do. It's a really really nice product. The glow in this is kind of in between the Hourglass Glow and the Cute Press Glow. It's just a really like, uh, it's just so pretty and natural and like it's a nice kind of like glowy product. Ugh, like it's so pretty. So I'm not going to neglect this anymore and this is gonna stay. So I'm gonna pop that over to the side, but just know that this is staying. <laughs> Alrighty, now we have highlighters and I didn't think I had that many highlighters, but that was a lie. <laughs> There's quite a few here and I'm gonna start with one that I kind of didn't realize until I pulled it out that I've been waiting to declutter it because as I was pulling them all out, I was like, oh, finally I can get rid of this. And that's probably not a thought you want to have about makeup you like. Now this is from Peri Peri. This is the Pure Beam Highlighter in the shade Bouncy Pink Light. And the concept of this highlighter is so pretty. And my beautiful friend Emily, who has a new YouTube channel, so I'm going to link her YouTube channel down in the description box, but she has the cushion highlighter from Peri Peri. I believe it's not this one, um, but the one that's in like an actual sponge in like a closed cushion. It's more of like a liquid highlighter and it is like so pretty on her. It's like a multi-dimensional shifting shimmer. It just is like the prettiest thing in the world. And I saw this online and I was like, oh, this is going to be like similar to that. Um, and the pictures online of it are so pretty. And when you like kind of swatch it and stuff. It is really pretty. Let me just see if I can. Yeah. So it's like a glittery pink shift in like a peachy base. It's so, so pretty, but it's like such a terrible formula. It's really, really dry. You have to do like so much work to get it to like even really show up and you can't like swatch that intensely like how I'm swatching there on my wrist on your face because it just will move all of your foundation around if you do wear foundation but even then like I feel like it's not even really showing up on camera like the pixie one on my like palm there is really showing up but this one like really isn't and that's kind of the thing as well like it does like show up in person as like a really fine like fairy glittery sparkle but I feel like I put it on my cheeks and it's like barely there like it's just not strong enough like you have to put so much product on for it to be noticeable but it's also really hard to apply the product so while i love the color of this and the concept of this the execution is bad so i'm going to declutter it so that one unfortunately is getting decluttered because it is not fulfilling all of my hopes and dreams like i thought it would but then i guess going on to another kind of like glittery highlight this is from lime crime this is their highlight angels palette i don't reach for this all the time but when i do it is really pretty. This shade here in particular is like a pink green flipping highlighter. Oh, uh, see that one swatch, really pretty. It actually like shows up and it doesn't look too, I don't know, like metallic-y on the skin. It's more of like a fine reflect. That is so pretty. I need to wear that more often. It's probably not one that I would wear to like the office on like a casual day, but like maybe on Fridays, you know? It's really pretty and the kind of pinky purpley one is pretty as well and the blue duochrome i don't really use a lot but it is nice when it's there and i've used this in my like inner corner and on my lids a few times so they're really pretty and i feel like when i want like a special kind of funky looking highlighter these do the trick and they're really like the only like colorful um like weird highlighters that i have so i really really like that so i'm gonna keep that one that palette is lovely and I don't reach for it often but I think that's kind of the case with like colorful funky highlighters you don't reach them like all the time but you want them to be good when you do and this one is good when I do then I have this one here and this is the Bobbi Brown shimmer brick in the shade rose and it's kind of like the cute press blusher I'm realizing <laughs> as I begin to swatch this because it is sort of like that like glowy pink color I do think it's different though it's more of like a rose pink than like a candy pink yeah, you can kind of see that there. Maybe I should put this with my blushes. I was kind of hoping to compare this blush to this highlighter from Models Own. This is in the shade Peach Pearl. So they say it's a peach, but I would say it's more of like an icy pink color. Yeah, you can't really compare these at all. They're like completely different. I'm actually going to put this in the blush section. Although I will say like when I like go to use it, it is more of like a sheer kind of formula like it doesn't normally look that 
pigmented on the cheeks. The reflect in them is similar, but this one has like more of a, a pigment to it. This is like literally just like an icy pink. I'm not obsessed with this, but I don't really have anything else like it and I do reach for it sometimes. So I'm kind of keen to like find maybe a slightly more like creamy icy highlighter, but that one is quite nice. Like, it is pretty. It's not like the most exciting, you know what I mean? No, but yeah, the Bobbi Brown one is more of a blush, as I realize. It's like a glowy blush, but it's still different to the other blushes that I have. So I'm just gonna pretend this wasn't in this section. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna keep this baby pink one as well, because it's like quite icy, and I don't really have a lot of like icy pink. I don't have any other pink highlighters that are like true straight icy pinks. So that one is gonna stay. I'll be real with you, I don't know if I'm going to be able to declutter any of these. I think the Peri Peri one might be the only one I declutter because, again, we come to a section where they're all the same but different. I don't know. Okay, I know I'm not going to declutter this, like, for sure. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light Skipade. Now, this is going to look, like, kind of boring to some people, but I love it. Ugh. It's just, like, a creamy, vanilla, soft glow, and there's not really a lot else like it. I don't have anything else like it in my collection that has that like soft angel Cape Blanchett Lord of the Rings luminescence. And even if I just put this on top of my like cheeks and like on my nose bridge, like I can kind of just softly dust this everywhere and it just brings my complexion to like ethereal life. It's so pretty. And you can actually build it up to be quite like intense, but oh, I just love that. Mm, so beautiful. Not getting rid of that, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> And then this is actually an interesting one. This is the other MAC skin finish I have. And this is in the shade Soft and Gentle. This is like an iconic, like old school YouTube product. But the thing is that like, it's one of those products that it's really pretty and I like it, but I don't use it that often because it's kind of like, oh, see, it doesn't look that. It's got such a beautiful metallic sheen. Um, I'll swatch it on my arm because I'm going to compare it to some other things, but it's a little bit bronzy, um, in the base, which on my cheek, as you can kind of see here, it looks a little bit of like a stripe. Unless I like layer it on top of a blush, I can't really wear this as a highlight on its own. It's just slightly too dark. Like I, I don't really tan at all and I don't wear fake tan. Um, and it's always... I don't know, sometimes I, I've looked in the mirror sometimes and it's looked like quite dark on my cheekbones. Like, cause if you layer it up, when you have the light on it, it just looks like reflective and stroby and stunning. But when you kind of like take that light away, you can kind of see, it's like a bronzy peachy color, which if you wear it like a blush is pretty, but if I'm using it as like a highlight, then I can accidentally kind of bring some darkness to those areas. So this one, I'm not sure about. I'll move MAC Light Skate away cause I love her. <laughs> but these three highlighters are kind of the same. <laughs> this is the Too Faced Love Light Prismatic Highlighter. And I just really like this. And I can't really tell you why because I don't know if it's really like much different to some of my other highlighters. It's not as creamy as some of the other ones, but it is still really pretty. It's got that like vanilla strobe kind of vibe. But it's not as like glittery. I would say it's more of like a metallic sheen and then i'm gonna compare it to the zen one because i feel like if i compare it to that i'm gonna realize that i don't need them both but i kind of want to keep both because i really like the heart shape <laughs> oh yeah they are essentially the same oh they're slightly different but they're basically the same oh no <laughs> oh no those two highlighters are kind of the same but actually in the camera oh yeah yeah, they're basically the same. Uh, <laughs> lol. Um, and then this is the ColourPop Super Shock, which I'm going to keep because it's a cream. I don't have any other cream highlighters. Um, I did have the Peri Peri one, but I wouldn't call it a cream. I would call it a Desert to Dust. Um, that is also similar. <laughs> but it's different. It's a cream. I don't need all of those three highlighters, but I like them all. Let's move my arm like that. You can kind of see Colourpop, Zen, Too Faced. They're all essentially the same. 
These are both powders, so I should be comparing. Th this one is like different in that it's a um a cream. And actually, these two look the most similar. This one is slightly more like yellowy, I would say, from Zen. Here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm going to declutter MAC Soft and Gentle, which it's been around, it's been in my collection for so long, um, but am I going to declutter Soft and Gentle? Oh, am I going to be a coward and just keep them all? I just feel like I'm going to use that the least because it's kind of like the Hourglass palette, the like radiant um, light kind of glowy bronzer from there. It's sort of similar and I really haven't reached for this much. I've probably reached for it like twice in the year. I just don't think I need to keep it for that. So I think I'm going to declutter this Max Soft and Gentle, which is kind of crazy, but I didn't really go into this video expecting that, but I think I'm going to do that because these are all similar, but like on the cheek, they're a little bit different. This is more blinding and I kind of like this as like an intensifying pigment on top of this one. This, even though it's swatched really strongly, it doesn't come off that strong on the cheek. It's more like soft. It's a little bit more demure. On the cheek the, the Too Faced one that is and I actually have to build it up quite a bit it's kind of like between the intensity level of something like Flexitarian or the Zen um, Victoria Harbour highlighter and the uh, MAC Lightscapade like this is a light amount of intensity this is a medium amount and this is usually like high blinding intensity so I feel like it's like the three levels <laughs> and I kind of like comboing them together like sometimes I like using the MAC one like lightly kind of all over the cheek and then using like the Too Faced one or the Zen one to kind of like pinpoint and highlight. So I think I can justify that. And that makes like more sense to me. It feels kind of crazy that I just did that in complete honesty, but like I was just looking at it and I was like, Soft and Gentle is like essentially bronzer territory um, for me. And I have like a glowy bronzer that I like. And I don't even really use glowy bronzers that often. So I was like, I don't need to keep it. Someone else can have the joy of this because even though it's been around for an old while like it's still really good and powders like I know they have expiry dates and by all means if it makes you feel good do stick to powder expiry dates but with powders unless something like smells different or it looks different or it's just not performing correctly it's probably okay because they're dry <laughs> they can't harbor bacteria especially these like baked formulas like they're not wet at all they are very much dry so I can give this one like a little clean up and I can pass along to maybe like my mum or a friend or something like that because it's a beautiful beautiful product and it deserves to have love and to be used properly but I'm just not using it unfortunately I also really like this MAC packaging like the uh packaging with the window it's just like so satisfying clicks shut really nice it's a nice sound anyway um ASMR channel coming soon <laughs> um kind of I'm sort of like not joking I am thinking about doing ASMR content. Anyway, uh, <laughs> if you can imagine me being like quiet for more than like two minutes. Uh, but yeah, these two are gonna go and these guys are gonna stay. Goodbye. <laughs> and with that, this video is finished. That's all of my color complexion products. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you've been enjoying getting some of that good decluttering goodness. I still have all of my eye products and all of my lip products to go, so there's still more to come. Um, but yeah, comment down below if you agree or disagree with my decluttering choices. Let me know if you've tried any of the things that I have in my stash. Just wanna you know, have a little casual chat down below. If you've watched all the way through, thank you so much. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.